The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning, 26th day of September. How did you like the first weekend of fall, right? Record high 98 Saturday, record high 98 Sunday. Wow. But I have some nice air on the way to tell you about, and you probably have been hearing rumors about this for quite a long time. I'll tell you about that frontal system and its progress when it gets here, how cool it's going to get. Plus, out in the tropics, something very interesting to watch. Invest 97L. Uh, will this thing develop into Matthew? And is it destined for the Gulf of Mexico or maybe the southeastern coast or maybe just out in the Atlantic? We don't know. But here's the latest information on your Monday morning weather briefing. On the map this morning, there's the, our friend the cold front from about Memphis to Shreveport down to Houston, moving slowly our way, and that's the front that's going to bring the relief. Now, as I make this in the middle of the night, there's a, a couple of nice clusters of showers moving through south Alabama, especially that uh, band in south central Alabama with some heavy downpours. So that's the morning activity, but uh, future radar is a little skimpy on the afternoon activity, but I think uh, it's going to be a little bit more robust than what future radar is showing us. I've got scattered thunder storms in the forecast. You know, rain coverage probably about 30% later on this afternoon and this evening hours. Uh, the forecast for tonight showing the front into northwest Alabama at 7 o'clock tonight, moving slowly southeastward and getting hung up. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast today with a high around 93 at least. Tonight slowed down to about 70. East winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now out in the tropics, the things to watch over the next few days, Invest 97L, which will be coming into the Caribbean, 90% chance of development. This thing needs to be watched because uh, it's going to be in, in a prime area for development. In fact, it's looking a little bit better on the uh, satellite imagery this morning. Uh, get, trying to get a little bit better organized. Could become a depression or storm. And then what? Well, the models tend to take this thing through the South Central Caribbean and then turn it on to the northward. Will it affect the United States? Well, a couple of, of the global models say no, but a couple of other models say maybe. We'll have to watch Invest 97L, which could eventually become Matthew. Here is the front uh, on Tuesday at midday. Uh, it kind of gets hung up in North Central Alabama before it gets a push behind it on Tuesday night, tomorrow night, and then moves all the way down to the coast with some nice air coming in Wednesday. Much more comfortable air, lower humidity, and in fact, Wednesday night is going to be very nice, and Thursday gets my vote as a comfortable, nice, breezy, uh, fallish kind of day with high temperatures in the middle 80s, in fact, about 83 on Thursday after a morning low of 56, and then we're talking about maybe mid-50s on Friday morning with a high around 83, and mid-50s on Saturday morning, a really nice change in our weather, and uh, it'll be It'll be uh, something we've been looking forward to. You can see that blue bar there indicating scattered showers and storms still possible on Tuesday. This is the European out 10 days. Then nice relief, including some beautiful mornings, especially Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, right on through the weekend. Here's the uh, GFS numbers out 16 days. A little too cool. I mean, it's got low 50s. We're not going to get quite that cool. But uh, so a nice string of days right on through the upcoming weekend with lower humidity. Very comfortable air for a while before it starts to warm up again uh, towards the middle of next week. Yeah, so everybody's very excited about this nice air coming in and the cooler nights and the more comfortable afternoons. But that still leaves the problem of the drought, which continues to get worse. We'll be looking over the week ahead on and any signs of relief over the next several days as far as rainfall. And plus, we'll be watching with great interest Invest 97L as it comes into the Caribbean. There'll be a live update this morning at 11 o'clock at the Blue Water Weather Center, richthomasweathernetwork.com. Latest model data. That should be interesting. Plus, uh, live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9, with uh, Greg and Jay and LaDonna on News Talk 93.1. And with Bubba and Christy on Bama Country and your forecast all the day long, whenever you want it, on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of radio stations, and another video for you tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Big debate on TV tonight, huh? Have a great day today, and I'll see you in the morning. Rich Thomas Weather.